Welcome to our Budokun Yoga Primary Series, Section 4. This section is called Unification. Begin in Seiza, kneeling position, and bring your awareness to your breath. Noticing if you're holding any tension around the belly, the chest, or in any other parts in your body, the jaws, the neck, the shoulders. And see if you can soften a little bit into that space. Create a sensation of grounding rooting through the tops of your feet, your shin, and then through the pelvic floor. And as you elongate your spine just a little bit longer, find a little bit more reach and expansiveness in your upper body. With that spaciousness, begin finding a little bit more depth and length in your breath. Soften all the way into your inhale and soft exhale. Creating your very own pattern of breathing. Your eyes open. With your next exhale, right hand, left hand to the ground, symbolizing a triangle and bow to the warrior in each of us, us, rising. Bring the hands together in front of your heart. We bow in honor to the yogi within each of us. Namaste. And now with your next inhale, slightly arch, tilting the head back, fingertips to the ground. Now draw the chin all the way to the chest, shoulders drawing forward. Slide your hands all the way forward to the knees. Big flexion here. Hands sliding alongside your thighs as you begin finding Another back bend here. Reach your arms behind you. Open the chest as you broaden across your collarbones. Chin draws to the chest. Arms reaching forward. Find your flexion again in the spine. Big cobra hood press. Find extension all the way into your fingertips. Begin circling the head from the right all the way over to the left side. Circling your upper trunk slightly from the right now to the left. Again, head circling left over to the right side. Allow that to translate deep into the body. Base your left hand behind you. Right arm reaches over the head. Bridge your hips forward. Begin opening up the side body. As you send your hips back, sweep your fingertips on the ground in a half circle. Base your right hand, left arm over the head as you bridge your hips forward. Lower the hips back towards the heels, both of your hands right in front of you. And rolling through the spine, all the way into the crown of the head, sending the hips back. Big flexion once Sweep your fingertips alongside the ground. Base your hands, shifting into a four-point base. And stay in motion. Find a big cobra hood press. Shifting to the right, from the right to the left, and reversing that. Sending your hips back. And from here, chin to the chest, pubic bone to navel, rolling forward into a cobra hood press. 
arching now activate your back line sending the hips back into your child's pose and now turn your right hand palm facing up circling the wrist shifting to the right left wrist now left palm facing up and in finding those circular motions to warm up the palm of the hands the wrists and now as you extend your arms pushing into your cobra hood and again stay very fluid in each transition sending yourself back and from here again rolling forward hips melting upward facing dog and then wind and then melting back down towards the ground stay on your fingertips and find circular transitions as you rise up into a cobra and now drawing the opposite shoulder towards the ground head follows and reversing that finding that cobra transition opening the front body and as you lower extend your left arm out and step your right leg all the way behind you finding that opening in the left pack slide and step your right foot back into prone switching your arms right leg extending left leg steps all the way behind me stepping the left leg back all the way into prone finding yourself back in prone draw both of your hands closer to the chest legs engage draw the knees forward hips rising anterior tilt and again from here curl the toes under extend the legs and now slide alongside the front line of your body to lower the pelvis the pubic bone back to the ground curl the toes under legs engage draw the knees forward hips rising anterior tilt and again from here legs extending sliding yourself all the way back into full prone one more time hips rising lower the knees tops of the feet to root pubic bone to navel and from there open it up again back line engages anterior tilt and from there again pubic bone draws to the navel elbows hugging into the waistline opening back up into an anterior tilt curl the toes under extend the legs and slide yourself all the way back draw the knees forward anterior tilt tops of the feet rooting and now pubic bone to navel navel to spine rolling through all the way into an upward facing dog as soon as you hit the peak already melting back towards the floor and once more draw the knees forward hips rising pubic bone to navel rolling through arms straight and hips lower upward facing dog really engaging through the quads tops of the feet into the mat and finding circular motions in the shoulder girdle as you elevate depress also now notice your head is free to move circle it side to side as you now again melt back all the way down into your belly full prone draw the knees forward cobra roll straighten your arms hips melting rising through the crown of the head chin to the chest big press into your cobra hood again rolling through the spine into full extension and now one foot at a time turning into your downward facing dog draw the feet together right leg extending high demi point the foot square hips folding the heel to the sits bones rising high onto the ball of the left foot rolling lunge draw the knee down the midline all the way into your cobra hood press as soon as the shoulders stack over the wrist bend the left knee gaze to the left pivot and through your two-point base extend the right leg out scanning the horizon with the left arm bridging the hips high warrior's bridge make sure your shoulders stack knee over ankle stacked now lower the hips hover off the ground recoil right heel to the sits bones keep your shoulders stacked over the wrist and now as your left hand reaches to the ground pivot and open to reach with the right foot all the way behind you toes find the ground lower the hips bridging up 
Warrior's bridge on the left side now. Left shoulder stagging over the wrist, right knee stagging over the right ankle. Lower the hips back towards the ground. Loading up in the hips to spill over right hand, hips, right knee, draw it all the way forward into your triceps. Placing the foot outside your right hand and now continue to rotate through your half squat. Reaching the left arm behind, right arm scanning the horizon, bridging high, warrior's bridge. Lower your hips and now circling over the right leg into a lunging position. Framing your front foot, pivot the back foot, square out the hips, bending the left knee onto the ground and shifting into your half or full stretch. Making sure your front foot is in a dorsiflexion, stay engaged through the legs. And at the same time, stay curious and explorative alongside your spine to eventually roll yourself all the way back forward into a lizard stretch, bringing your arms inside the legs, basing either onto your hands or your forearms, your back knee either extended or underground. Finding length through the spine. If you like, find a few twisting variations, spiraling the body, upper body, lower trunk. And eventually now, if you like, placing the left knee back on the ground and draw your heel towards the sits bones. Reach back behind and find some variation of a shoulder and front line opener here. Release. Place both of your hands back onto the ground, right underneath your shoulders, shifting the weight into your fingertips to place your back foot slightly more forward into a warrior one base. Make sure that both of your feet are pointing forward, left heel rooting into the ground, rolling yourself up, vertebra by vertebra into warrior one stance, reaching your arms all the way behind, interlace the fingers if you can, or reverse prayer, or get hold of your opposite elbows. Extending the front leg and then hinging right by the hips to dive forward into pyramid pose. Make sure your hips remain square. Make sure your back heel is still rooted into the ground, lengthening through the back line. Once you find your edge, this is when you're soften in the spine, soften in the front knee, slight bend, release your arms, and now roll all the way back up into your standing warrior one. This time, reach your arms all the way towards the ceiling. Big opening in the sidelines of your body. Interlace the fingers into sword mudra, gazing up towards your sword. Staying low and rooted through your stance. Draw your elbows down the midline. Start to get lighter on your feet to find a three-quarter turn pivoting into your coiling dragon. Make sure that you adjust your stance, stepping your back foot slightly out so you are in that cross-legged stance. Sitting deep, double block arms, block low block high, to then uncoil all the way back into your warrior one stance, adjusting the front foot, back heel roots, reaching your arms all the way up towards the ceiling gazing up, drishti, towards your sword. Again, make sure that you remain rooted through your lower trunk, expansive through your upper trunk. Draw your elbows down the midline. Once more, pivot and coil all the way into your coiling dragon, sitting low into that stance. Find that internal rotation in the hips, and now eventually right knee finds the floor, sitting right back in between the feet for your seated twist. Find your variation. Feel free to find a bind, getting a little bit deeper into it. Now, as you shift all the way back forward into your front foot, curl your back toes under, uncoiling, circling through a squat. Stay low, left arm reaching all the way out in front, thrusting, rising high, revolved flying warrior. Make sure your hips remain square, reaching through the ball of the left foot into your left fingertips, swing and turn, catch, falling warrior. 
reach the fingertips towards the ground, tracing it. And now, very slow, very controlled, very strong, lower yourself down in one piece into your prone. Setting it up for your cobra roll. Draw the knees forward, pubic bone to navel, rise and roll, upward facing dock. Reversing, chin to the chest, big press. Rolling through the spine into the extension, turning one foot at a time, downward facing dog. Drawing the feet together, left side, left leg, find the extension, square hips, demi point. Once you find the full height, draw the heel to the sits bone, rising high onto the ball of the right foot, rolling lunge, drawing the knee down the midline all the way right into your cobra hood press, shoulders stagging over the wrist, gazing to the right side, pivot and turn into a two-point base, and from your two-point base, left leg extending, bridging the hips high into your warrior's bridge. Make sure you keep your alignment, shoulders over wrist, knee over ankle, hips bridging as high as you can. Now lower with control, draw the left heel to the sits bone, two point base. And as you press out of the shoulder girdle, right hand finding the ground, big opening here. Keep bridging the hips as the left foot reaches towards the ground and you counter reaching with your left hand. Lower back and from here, loading it up to find Another warrior's bridge. Checking on your alignment, shoulders over wrist, knee over ankle, lower back. Loading to now spill all the way up and over into an outside lunge. As soon as your left hand finds the ground, draw the left knee closer to your upper body, placing the foot outside the left hand, continue to turn, right toes facing up through your half squat, reach behind, big warrior's bridge here. Nice. As you lower, circle yourself over the left leg into a lunging position, framing your front foot, lowering your back knee, and then shifting sits bones all the way back onto the heel. If you like, you can always go into a full split leg position here. Other than that, keep your front leg engaged, dorsiflexion in the foot. Finding spinal undulations, reaching upper body closer to the left leg. Feel free to walk your hands to either side. Again, explore before you return, rolling forward into the lunge. Now bringing both of your arms inside the legs for your lizard stretch. Also here, find your variation. You can either be on your hands, forearms, back knee on the ground, or back leg fully extended. See if you can keep your left leg hugging against your upper trunk, and you continue to find extension through the spine. Eventually lower the back knee, finding a little bit more opening through the hips. And if you like, draw the right heel towards the sits bones, reaching behind to find a little bit more of twisting, rotation, and opening of the front line. As you release the right foot, plant both of your hands again firmly on the ground, stagging your shoulders, right above the wrist, leaning forward into your fingertips to nicely and controlled step the back foot slightly forward into your warrior one base. Back heel rooted, front knee bend, rolling up into warrior one, standing, reaching both of your arms behind you, big opening across the collarbones, reverse prayer or getting hold of the opposite elbows. Extend the front leg, find length in your spine and begin diving and hinging forward into pyramid. 
making sure you remain square in the hips, back heel rooted into the ground. And then eventually as you hit the edge, soften in the spine, soft bend in the front knee, pushing into the ground through the feet and the legs, rise and roll up into your warrior one stance. This time again, reach your arms all the way over the head. Follow with your gaze, drishti, to your sword, hands on the sword mudra. From your warrior one, draw your elbows down the midline, sinking a little deeper into your stance. Pivot the feet, turning three quarters into your coiling dragon. Sinking into that stance, adjusting the feet if necessary. Spread your arms wide, double block high and low. Gazing over the right hand to uncoil. Turning all the way back to where you came from, into your warrior one, adjusting the feet, stepping the left leg slightly out as you reach your arms all the way back towards the ceiling. Follow with your gaze. Drishti on your sword. And once more, draw your elbows down the midline. Getting light on the feet, begin pivoting as you turn through your coiling dragon, sinking deeply into the stance as you lower your back knee, sitting right in between your feet, continue to spiral into your seated twist. If you like, find a bind, making sure you keep the length in your spine, shifting the weight forward into your front knee, curl your back toes under, and now turning through a squat, squaring the hips, right arm extending out in front as your right leg extends back, square hips revolved flying warrior, finding full length before you turn, catch your balance, falling warrior, fingertips sweeping alongside the ground, lower through your chaturanga, all the way down into prone, setting it up, cobra roll from here, Hips high, pubic bone to navel. And as your arms extend, big press. Strong legs, reversing chin to chest, rolling through your cobra hood into the full extension, turning one foot at a time, downward facing dog. Second round, guys, here we go. Draw the feet together, right leg extending, rolling lunge, fold, rise and roll into your cobra hood. Bend the left knee through your two-point base, extending the right leg out, warrior's bridge. Lower back through your two-point base. Big press, recoil, and spilling over, right foot reaching towards the ground behind you, lower the hips, loading up, warrior's bridge. Make sure your alignment is accurate. Lower back, spilling over, up and over, into an outside lunge. Step outside, keep pivoting, Reaching behind, warrior's bridge. Circling back over that right leg, framing the front foot, low lunge. In your low lunge, lower the back knee, shift the sits bones back onto the heel, extending the right leg, doors reflection. Rolling back forward into that front knee, bring both of your arms inside for lizard stretch. Keep hugging the right leg into your upper body. And now place both of your hands back underneath the shoulders, shifting forward, stepping the left leg closer into the front, rolling up all the way into your warrior one, making sure you stay low in your stance, both the feet parallel and reach behind, reverse prayer, extending the front leg, hinging forward, diving into your pyramid. As soon as you find that edge, soften in the spine, soften in the front knee, release your arms and roll yourself up all the way into your warrior one stance. Rooting through the feet, reach your arms over the head, sword mudra, follow with your gaze. Draw your elbows down the midline, get light on the feet, pivot three quarters into your coiling dragon. Adjust the back foot if necessary, sitting low here, arms extend, uncoil turning back into your warrior one stance, stepping it out, back heel rooted, bend the front knee, arms reaching, sword mudra. And once more, draw the elbows down the midline, pivot and turn into a coiling dragon, traveling through, 
Find the ground with the back knee, sit right in between the feet, keep spiraling into your seated twist. As you find that maximum twist, turning it out all the way into your revolved flying warrior, really finding length through the fingertips into the foot, turn and fall into chaturanga, all the way down to your belly, cobra roll, rising, big press, strong legs, reverse chin to chest, rolling through your cobra hood into its extension, downward facing dog as your feet turn one at a time, left leg extending, rolling as you rise onto the ball of the right foot, turning through that two-point base, Left leg extending, bridging high, warrior's bridge. Lower with control, draw the heel back to the sits bones. Press, reach the right hand, and now spilling all the way behind you. Hips high, find the ground with the foot. And now bridging back into warrior's bridge. Lower back down, loading up the hips to spill all the way up and over into an outside lunge. Place the foot. Outside, your left hand keeps circling through a half squat. Right hand behind, left arm circles, warrior's bridge. Lower yourself all the way back, circling over the front leg into your low lunge. Framing the front foot, bending the back knee, send the hips back into a half or full complete split. Rolling with your next exhale back into the front foot. Extending the spine as you bring both of your hands inside, either onto your forearms or your hands. On the back knee or back leg, extended lizard stretch, getting long. As you now lower your hands back onto the ground, shifting forward, step the right leg slightly closer, warrior one stance. Rolling up into standing, draw your arms behind your back, interlace into reverse prayer. Long spine, straighten the front knee, and now hinge and dive forward into pyramid. Finding your edge, and then soften in the spine, in the front knee, to roll up all the way into your warrior one. Big press through the cobra hood as you roll. Now, rooting through the feet and the legs, reach your arms over the head, interlace the fingers, sort mudra, follow with your gaze. Draw your elbows down the midline. Get light on the feet. Pivot and turn into your coiling dragon. Really sitting low. Find your stance. Spread your arms wide. Uncoiling. Adjusting your stance as you step back out into warrior one. Arms reaching. Gaze follows. Drawing your arms down the midline again. Two. Find your transition through a coiling dragon into a seated twist, back knee lowers, find a seat right in between the feet, spiral into your seat, find extension in your spine to then uncoil, shift forward, toes curling under, and from here, revolve flying warrior, find length, square hips, swing and turn, catch, falling warrior, sweep your fingertips on the ground, and slow and controlled, strong transition down onto your belly, prone, Cobra roll from here, rising, rolling, upward facing dog, chin draws to the chest, big press through your cobra hood, find extension, turning one foot at a time, downward facing dog. Big breath here, guys. We have one more round. Right leg extending, rolling lunge, fold, rise and roll into your cobra hood. Bend the left knee through your two-point base, extending the right leg out, warrior's bridge. Lower back through your two-point base. Big press, recoil, and spilling over, right foot reaching towards the ground behind you, lower the hips, loading up, warrior's bridge. Make sure your alignment is accurate. Lower back, spilling over, up and over, into an outside lunge. Step outside, keep pivoting, Reaching behind, warrior's bridge. Circling back over that right leg, framing the front foot, low lunge. In your low lunge, lower the back knee, shift the sits bones back onto the heel, extending the right leg, doors through flexion. Rolling back forward into that front knee, bring both of your arms inside for lizard stretch. Keep hugging the right leg, 
into your upper body. And now place both of your hands back underneath the shoulders, shifting forward, stepping the left leg closer into the front, rolling up all the way into your warrior one, making sure you stay low in your stance, both the feet parallel, and reach behind, reverse prayer, extending the front leg, hinging forward, diving into your pyramid. As soon as you find that edge, soften in the spine, soften in the front knee, release your arms and roll yourself up all the way into your warrior one stance. Rooting through the feet, reach your arms over the head, sword mudra, follow with your gaze. Draw your elbows down the midline, get light on the feet, pivot three quarters into your coiling dragon. Adjust the back foot if necessary, sitting low here, arms extend, uncoil. Turning back into your warrior one stance, stepping it out, back heel rooted, bend the front knee, arms reaching, sword mudra. And once more, draw the elbows down the midline, pivot and turn into a coiling dragon, traveling through, find the ground with the back knee, sit right in between the feet, keep spiraling into your seated twist. As you find that maximum twist, turning it out all the way into your revolved flying warrior, really finding length through the fingertips into the foot, turn and fall into chaturanga, all the way down to your belly, cobra roll, rising, big press, strong legs, reverse chin to chest, rolling through your cobra hood into its extension, downward facing dog as your feet turn one at a time, left leg extending, rolling as you rise onto the ball of the right foot, turning through that two-point base, left leg extending, bridging high, warrior's bridge, lower with control, draw the heel back to the sits bones, press, reach the right hand, and now spilling all the way behind you, hips high, find the ground with the foot, and now bridging back into warrior's bridge, lower back down, loading up the hips to spill all the way up and over into an outside lunge. Place the foot outside. Your left hand keeps circling through a half squat. Right hand behind, left arm circles, warrior's bridge. Lower yourself all the way back, circling over the front leg into your low lunge. Framing the front foot, bending the back knee, send the hips back into a half or full complete split. Rolling with your next exhale back into the front foot, extending the spine as you bring both of your hands inside, either onto your forearms or your hands. On the back knee or back leg, extended lizard stretch, getting long as you now lower your hands back onto the ground, shifting forward, step the right leg slightly closer, warrior one stance. Rolling up into standing, draw your arms behind your back, interlace, into reverse prayer, long spine, straighten the front knee, and now hinge and dive forward into pyramid, finding your edge, and then soften in the spine, in the front knee, to roll up all the way into your warrior one. Big press through the cobra hood as you roll. Now, rooting through the feet and the legs, reach your arms over the head, interlace the fingers, sword mudra, follow with your gaze. Draw your elbows down the midline, get a light on the feet, pivot and turn into your coiling dragon. Really sitting low, find your stance, spread your arms wide, uncoiling, adjusting your stance as you step back out into warrior one. Arms reaching, gaze follows. Drawing your arms down the midline again. Two, find your transition through a coiling dragon into a seated twist. Back knee lowers. Find a seat right in between the feet. Spiral into your seat. Find extension in your spine to then uncoil. Shift forward, toes curling under. And from here, revolve flying warrior. Find length, square hips. Swing and turn, catch, falling warrior. Sweep your fingertips on the ground and slow and controlled, strong transition down onto your belly prone. Cobra roll from here, rising, rolling, upward facing dog, 
Chin draws to the chest, big press. Through your cobra hood, find extension, turning one foot at a time, downward facing dog. Mm, in your down dog, catch your breath. Distribute your weight equally, three hands and the feet. Bend the knees now. Four point base, shifting your sits bones back onto the heels. Say za. And now reach your hands all the way behind you onto your fingertips. And now draw your hips forward out in front of you for a little camel transition. Chin to the chest, rolling through your spine into a little child's pose variation. Allow your arms to reach out in front and then from here, rooting back, rolling back up, trace the floor, bring your fingertips tips right behind you. If you need, support your lower back to open up camel. Chin to the chest, rolling through the spine, send the hips back, forehead towards the ground as your arms come right by the side of your legs, little press to bring your legs all the way through right in front of you. Bring your hands right onto your shins and then hold against the chins as you roll yourself vertebra by vertebra all the way onto your back. Release the shoulder blades, the back of the head. Draw your heels slightly closer to the sits bones and begin also here rolling through the spine into a big opening into a bridge if you like bring your hands and your arms closer underneath the body and see if you can maybe find some pulsing before you release again vertebra by vertebra all the way back onto the ground one more time bridging pubic bone to the navel rolling through the spine into the full bridge see if you can find a little bit more depth here sending the sternum all the way towards the head pushing into the feet and then release with control lowering vertebra by vertebra back onto the mat deep inhale and exhale here maybe opening the knee slightly wider or if you like, bring the knees together and walk the feet slightly wider. Placing one hand on your belly, one hand on your chest. And really tune into your breath. The pacing, the depth. How expensive it feels in the chest and around the belly. And now draw your knees all the way close to your chest. Feel free to rock a little bit side to side. Giving yourself a little self massage of your lower back. And if there's anything else your body's asking for, feel free to follow that call. And if that's your Shavasana, feel free to Reach your arms alongside the body, extending the legs, and begin really melting into the mat, letting the breath go, Shavasana. Finding your breath, draw the knees closer in once more, getting really small. And then choose a side to turn to. Taking another moment here, resting. And help yourself back up into a seat. Say Zao, cross-legged. To close out the practice with 
a brief meditation, anchoring back into your seat, rooting through your lower trunk, and at the same time reaching, finding expansiveness in your upper trunk. Notice a breath and then immediately allow to find its very natural intuitive pattern. Allow yourself to soften into your seat. Soft belly. Relax the shoulders. Focus inward. Begin tuning one last time back into your breath. Taking a deeper inhale through the nose. Exhale, open the mouth. Finding a little bit more length again through the spine, crown of the head reaching as you root through the pelvis and the shins top of the feet into the earth. Eyes open, right hand, left hand. We bow to the warrior within each of us, us, the warrior who fights for people, places, things that can be changed. Together we rise, bring your hands in front of your heart. And here we symbolize and bow in honor of the yogi quality, the one who is in resolution, peace and ease with people, places and things we can change. Mm -hmm.